Don Bombadi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we actually agreed that I would take exactly five minutes. I want to uh, leave to that. You actually uh, have less now. Now, but now, now it means I will just take all the time left. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, quickly, I want to say here on record that I actually participated and was part of the team that was working on the Azimio Manifesto. And I've heard many of us talk about what we had provided in my, our manifesto. And this is the problem of stealing other people's ideas and implementing it wrongly. This is not what we intended or envisaged in our plan to provide affordable housing for this country. Actually, Kenya Kwanzaa is lacking in cre creativity, and I want to put it on record, Mr. Speaker, the following. Number one, if you look at this Article 43, the idea behind this article was not for the government of Kenya to provide houses to Kenyans. That was not the objective. Because if that was the objective, you start today by taxing Kenyans or levying fees on Kenyans to provide houses, yet this article talks about other things. One of them is that Kenyans should be free from hunger and to have adequate food for acceptable quality. The other one is to clean and safe water. Are you telling us that tomorrow, after this levy, we should expect another levy to provide food to Kenyans and to get another lady to provide water safe and clean to Kenyans and to provide security, social security? That is not the way to do it. Mr. Speaker, this house must rise to the occasion and stop the government of Kenya from extorting employed Kenyans, because this is extortion. We are having a government that, are turning itself, that is turning itself to extortionists. You cannot force Kenyans to pay money to provide houses when they have not asked you that they need those houses. Mr. Speaker, you are telling us that these houses that will be provided will be provided even in the rural constituencies, that you are going to come to Ukwala, Mr. Speaker, in your constituency, and move Ugenya people to reside in Ukwala. Who told this government that the people of Ugenya want to go and stay in Ukwala? Who told them that my people in Suba South, which I've represented for 15 years, want to go and reside in Sindo, Magunga, or Nyandiwa? That is not what they want. Most of my constituents can live. They have houses. There are just a few who don't have houses, some widows, some people who are totally very poor. Where has this government conducted a survey to provide the number of Kenyans, those households which are lacking houses? Where is that data? What Kenyans need is housing, not homes, not houses. Who told you that when we come to Nairobi, we want houses in Nairobi? I just want where I stay. Housing is what Kenyans need. You go to Brazil, Brazil understand the way Brasilia was developed. Mr. Speaker, what the government needs to do is very simple. The cost of construction, of, the cost of a home or a house, 40% of it is land. If you add to social amenities, it goes beyond 50%. What a, res a responsible government would do would, is to have money, a rearrange budget, repro uh, budget of the government, to provide money through our taxes, which we have already paid anyway. Remove corruption in government. Make money available. Get land. To, and once you have the land, make sure there, is, there are roads leading to that land. There is railway leading to that land. There is electricity and water. And then arrange with private developers and agree on a system where the private developers would come develop houses, and you agree and sign a contract that for a period of so number of years, they will be charging this, number, this amount of rent. Mr. Speaker, I want to put it on record as someone who is a professional in finance. I want to tell you this. Investment in housing, investment in real estate is not a productive way of investment. The payback period for investing in a house is usually not less than 35 years. That is without factoring time value of money. So therefore, you need not to, 
You know you are shouting and I'm... You know, you don't have any knowledge of economics, honorable buyer. So can you keep quiet and I finish my contribution? I have only one minute. Stop shouting and I'm your teacher. Mr. Speaker, I am saying that construct the, the cost of investing, the payback period for real estate is 35 years and above. If you are forcing someone who is over 50 years to have a home, you, this person is not, you know this kind of interruption. The Honorable, Honorable Buyer, Buyer. Allow, allow the Honorable Norma This is not how I trained you. You are now Deputy Majority Leader, Mweshimo Owen Buyer, deputizing Kimani Chunga. Please keep quiet when members are making their contribution. Take notes so that when the time comes, you respond. So, Mr. Speaker, because now there is no time, so I will have to continue next time. I don't want to finish my time now. I don't want to stop because my time, I still have five minutes now. Mr. Speaker, I want to say very clearly and categorically that look at this bill. Critically, you are simply taxing Kenyans. It is taxation. We have fines, we have fees, we have taxes, and we have levies. What the government of Kenya is doing is fining Kenyans who are employed at the rate of 1.5%. Why are you leaving a fine on employees of this country? What have they done to the government of Kenya, Kwanzaa, that they should be fined 1.5% of their gross salary to provide houses which they don't need? If you want these Kenyans to be philanthropic, there is a way to enforce philanthropy. You cannot force philanthropy of people. You have to persuade people, take them to church, preach to them so that we get converted and we understand that now we have a social responsibility to take care of other Kenyans because the government of Kenya, which is taxing us, is eating the money that they are supposed to use to provide these services to the Kenyans. Now they want other Kenyans, the ordinary Kenyans, to contribute money to some fund and help other Kenyans get money. This is simply philanthropy is what you want. Mr. Speaker, I will continue. Thank you so much, uh, members. Uh, I think you've had a very robust debate on this matter this afternoon. Time now being 7.01.